Lawmakers are concerned about the pandemic's ongoing strain on medical professionals. But there's going to be a significant uh, challenge in terms of, of, law, of mental health needs that will go on for a long term after this. Virginia Senator Tim Kaine says he's seen doctors and nurses deal with overwhelming stress. You can't see that much suffering without it having a dramatic effect on you. Both Virginia Representative Abigail Spanberger and Virginia Senator Mark Warner believe mental health resources need to be easily available. Access to mental health services uh, should be considered across the board as one would consider you know, a regular checkup. Uh, they ought to be able to get the kind of health care they need, and that'll probably be treatment that will take um, much longer than the virus. Organizations like the American Psychological Association say Congress needs to make sure mental health resources are fully funded. Making mental health benefits much more reasonable and equitable with other kinds of health care benefits would be a tremendous help. Dr. Susan McDaniel, a psychologist with the University of Rochester Medical Center, says she's regularly checking up on nurses and doctors at her facility. We try to prevent some of the uh, burnout and tragedy, for example, happened with the emergency medicine physician in New York. Senator Kane says this is also why state and local governments need funding because many mental health programs are run at the local level. Reporting in Washington, I'm Basil John.